Welcome to episode two of Recipes Inspired by our new book, The Mistletoe Mixtape. Much like the main character of this story, I did not have my life together enough to attempt to make a Pandoro bread, so instead I've gone for a panettone in the shape of a Pandoro tin instead, hence the name Bianca's Panditoni. Pause here for the list of ingredients. This will either make one large or two small panditonis. Start with one third of a cup of warmed whole milk. I've gone with this Jersey Finest milk because it's nice and creamy. Add to this 14 grams of active dry yeast which is just under two tablespoons then leave to bubble for five minutes before adding a tablespoon of sugar add in half a cup of strong white flour of your choice I've gone for this Italian gluten-free blend from Caputo mix all the ingredients together and then leave it in a warm place for an hour to rise you'll need to use a stand mixer for this next part with a dough hook attachment with the mixer on a medium speed add in three tablespoons of sugar two and a half cups of flour, four of the beaten eggs and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Let this mix together until a stiff dough begins to form and then you can start adding your butter. I've gone with the President Unsalted Butter here mainly because it comes with 25 gram increments which will help me to easily measure out the butter. Add 25 gram pieces at a time and allow each to incorporate fully before adding the next. When the butter is incorporated, add in half a teaspoon each of Sicilian lemon extract, Moroccan almond and Valencian orange. Then add two cups of dark chocolate chips and mix until fully incorporated. Transfer this into a well-oiled bowl, cover it and refrigerate it overnight. I used olive oil but you can use vegetable oil as well if you want. The following day, when your dough has cold proof from the fridge, Take it out and grease up your Pandoro tin with some butter. If you want to make too many ones as I did with this recipe, then split the dough in half, shape it into a ball with some flour and then put it in your Pandoro tin. If you want a larger one, just use all of the dough. Cover this and let it rise for two hours in a warm place. When the dough has risen, gently wash over the top of it with a beaten egg. Place in a preheated oven per these instructions for about 45 to 50 minutes until golden brown. Invert it to release it from its tip and if you can wait, leave it to cool. I could not as you can tell from the steam coming off here. I made the second one straight after and it turned out just as well. Now for the taste test, this was the first time ever trying a gluten free panettone and it did not fail to impress me. Um, as you can tell, I very enthusiastically enjoyed this. If you like this recipe, give us a follow and we'll be doing more in the series so stay tuned. Okay, thank you. Bye.